Good morning everyone, it's Anna here at Canterbury Farms Nursery and Garden Center. I want to start something new, maybe uh, hopefully we can do this weekly and just go on a little cruise around Canterbury, show you what's looking good, what's, look, what's coming up, and uh, let's uh, take a tour. Let's see if I can hold the camera while I'm doing this. Those of you who haven't been here in a while, um, you'll see lots of changes here at Canterbury Farms. Looking good right now. We have a bunch of beautiful Christmas palms in stock. We also have some awesome Chinese fan palms, 8 foot CT. If you need any of those, feel free to give us a call. Along our main road, we're starting to bring up our crepe myrtle trees in preparation. Those are going to be blooming in just about another month or so. So those are going to be looking great for you. We're going to have all sizes for you from a three gallon, a few three gallon, seven gallon, up to 15 gallon and uh, 30s and 45 gallon uh, crepe myrtles in all different colors, lots of the ebony varieties of all of your regular uh, Muskogee's, Natchez, all of your favorite uh, other colors as well. Remember we also have lots of your smaller queen palms, foxtail palms, sable palms. We can always order those in for you. I'm going to take a drive out here in our little uh, front palm field real quick. I apologize, it gets a little bumpy through here. But I did want to point out, we have some awesome areca palms right now. Some uh, extra large ones that are probably a good eight to 10 feet tall. Bear with me here. You can see these. If you need any uh, privacy at all, the areca palms would be a great uh, choice for you. We also have uh, fishtail palms and now again, a bunch of foxtails, container-grown Bismarcks that uh, you can see we've got Epsom salt on these right now just to give these all that little extra boost of the magnesium that they all need. It's a good trick uh, for any of you. Uh, if your palms are looking uh, a little yellow, a little Epsom salt will often help uh, bring their uh, green color back for you. I'm going to head to the back of the farm just a little bit real quick and we'll see what's looking good back there. Don't forget we also have the Majestic Beauty Indian Hawthorn trees. We're one of the few nurseries that actually grow them here so uh, it's a great cold hardy evergreen tree that uh, blooms in the spring and uh, a lot of times you can get it to bloom in the summer again too. I'm going to show you over here we have some beautiful beautiful Reclinata palms in stock. If you need a statement piece, the Reclinatus can be an awesome choice for you. Throw it up. Um, again, all of our crepe myrtles are going to be ready and going to be blooming um, in the next month or so. So we've got lots of those being ready for you. If you've never been out here, we've got about 40 acres of nursery and uh, our front is more of our retail space. We've got more of the color, but then our back is our growing area. And we are happy to give tours at any time. Uh, bottle brush, weeping, and regular varieties. And then um, again, a lot of your code trees. We have the maples and hollies, elms, sycamores, sweet gums. Um, and we're also growing up some olive trees here. Coming past our potting area and our back office. Take you over this way. See all of the variegated arbicola. This is our biggest seller by far. We grow it by the tens of thousands. So uh, let us load you up with some. You can see we've got uh, Podocarpus, Burford Eye Holly, all of this stuff growing here. We've got our crews working on potting up more. This is our Cerise Charm Laura Petalum coming up here. We have some great looking uh, 15 gallon 
Howard Eye Ligustrums. Those are uh, nice head shrub, or you can let them grow up to tree size. Lots of Robolini palms we have. We'll give you a peek of some of our other growing stock. Again, lots of Podocarpus. That's another big seller for us. We've got thousands of Liriope growing. Um, we have Aztec grass looking great right now. Give us a call. We can maybe cut you a special on that. Society garlic looking awesome. Growing up some cordy lines. And squeeze through the tree here. We've got uh, gingers. And we are actually growing some Hollywood hibiscus coming up here. So uh, look for that coming up in the future. We've got some of our smaller trees here, wax myrtles growing up. And then we're coming up here, we've got a bunch of our smaller crepe myrtles. Sevens and 15 gallons. Or flax lily, variety, Aztec grass, bulbine with the uh, yellow flowers. And we're heading back up front. we we'll take you past uh, just a couple more areas real quick. See, we're uh, building out more tree lines as well. We've been grading out areas so we can more um, items and trees for you, but uh, just take a peek down this line. We have some really awesome 30-gallon uh, uh, bald cypress right now, and they're busting out of their pots. They're really heavy caliper, three, even some four-inch caliper. We have tons of ligustrum trees as well, 30 and 45-gallon uh, all on down the, the line here. Lots of 